Hey, this is Gene with Motoclops, and today we're gonna to talk about mineral oil and DOT brakes. So these are the two most popular brakes that we sell here at Motoclops. We've got the TRP DHR Evo, which is a mineral oil brake, and the Hayes Dominion A4, which is a DOT brake. Typically, mineral oil brakes, uh, they tend to be uh, a little bit less expensive. Um, and uh, there are, they seem to be a lot more uh, breaks out for aftermarkets that use mineral oil. Now, in the mountain bike world, uh, mineral oil uh, tends to make a lot of sense. Um, you know, it's a, um, it's a more easily uh, uh, fluid to get. Uh, some manufacturers have their own proprietary formulas. Uh, there's a lot of debate on which one is better and which one uh, is, uh, is more suitable for this platform. Uh, and that's mostly because it's not regulated. There's no government regulations for mineral oil, so uh, each manufacturer can claim that theirs, theirs is the best. Uh, and uh, you know, with the DHRs, again, super popular break for this platform, uh, a lot of pros for mineral oil, you know, it's got a uh, fairly high boiling point and it, uh, it seems to uh, fluctuate temperature a lot less than, uh, than DOT fluid. Uh, it stays very stable. Uh, the negative is if it does get contaminated with water in any way, the, uh, the water contaminates it so bad to where it brings the boiling point all the way down to 100 C, which is water's boiling point. Uh, also, the water will tend to settle down into the caliper since that's the lowest point of the brake. And that's bad because what happens is it pushes the fluid outside of the caliper uh, and the water is the thing that heats up first and then brake fade is, uh, is imminent and it happens with uh, very low temperatures. So uh, you always wanna keep that in mind when uh, considering mineral oil brakes. DOT brakes, on the other hand, uh, those are, uh, there's less of them out there. Uh, they, they can tend to be a little bit more expensive, again, depending on brand. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're, they're just as good or maybe better in some cases, depending on the application. Uh, the advantage of DOT brakes is that the fluid is more readily available. You can get it at uh, a lot of either hardware stores or, um, or automotive stores, super easy to get and very popular in um, uh, online and things of that nature. It's just easier to, to, uh, to acquire. The uh, other advantages are when you have uh, contamination with the DOT fluid, there's, um, it affects that fluid less. So, uh, we'll go over here in a minute some charts to show you the, the wet and the dry boiling points of DOT fluid, and, uh, and it will make a little bit more sense there. But overall, very powerful break, uh, and arguably better in some applications, especially with uh, race applications where heat is a certainty. So uh, with DOT fluid, uh, some of them do have higher boiling points than uh, even mineral oil. Uh, however, if they are contaminated, they are just affected less. Uh, and so you maintain your braking a bit better uh, in some cases with DOT brakes. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the boiling points of uh, mineral oil, they can vary just like uh, DOT boiling points. Uh, here in this image, you're gonna see four different uh, mineral oils that are offered out there and their relative boiling points. Uh, you know, you can use this, you can use most of these mineral oils in almost any mineral oil break, even the OEMs, uh, the stock breaks. And if you find yourself, uh, you know, getting brake fade on your stock brakes, it might be worth uh, investigating these brands and uh, flushing the fluid that's in your stock brakes and using this fluid. In this image, this shows the four different variations of DOT fluid. 
the fluid that are most common in the breaks that you're gonna be, uh, that you're gonna have available on this platform are gonna use either DOT3, DOT4, or DOT5.1. We prefer the 5.1, uh, not only because it has a higher dry boiling point and wet boiling point, um, those breaks just typically uh, tend to be a bit more high end. Now, when we talk about dry boiling point and wet boiling point, that really just has to do with contamination. So dry boiling point is a boiling point for has no contamination in it, no water, no anything. Um, a wet boiling point for each of these uh, three fluids shows that once it's contaminated, its boiling point is dramatically reduced. And so that just means that your brakes will heat up quicker if there's water in them. If you do find that your brakes are fading uh, or that there is water in there or they seem a little squishy, then you wanna flush it out and get some fresh fluid in there. It's also notable that dot three, dot four, and dot 5.1 fluids can all be mixed. Now, it's not something that you want to make a practice of, but if you've got a dot 5.1 break and you need to add some fluid, it's not terrible for the break for you to top up your reservoir with dot three or dot fluid. What you don't wanna do is put dot five in there. Dot five is a completely different composition fluid and it uh, will not play well with the internals of your brake. So you wanna take that completely off the table as an option if you're trying to intermingle the different fluids. Thanks for joining us today and remember to visit www.motoclops.com for all your e-bike, e-moto parts and accessories.